All right. Good afternoon, Zach. How are you today? I'm doing great. All right. Fantastic. So I've got your resume here in front of me. You've got some great experience working in the HR industry and you are moving here to sunny Florida in about two weeks. So we're trying to get you lined up with something to start working while um, before you get here. So tell us what you're doing most recently um, at Amazon. Yeah, for sure. So uh, my position at Amazon is a uh, human resources assistant. Um, currently, uh, I'm in their um, mass movements division right now. So I'm doing a lot of the, the back end uh, work in Amazon, moving candidates throughout the Salesforce system, um, move, getting them hired, having them go through the orientation um, and getting them uh, hired and also having them moving them out of the system whenever the uh, time is that, uh, for them to leave Amazon. Okay. Um, as well as uh, sending out communication to candidates about uh, different types of screenings and uh, like drug tests, I-9s, um, day one dates, um, basically a lot of the uh, oversight and the back end of HR with Amazon. I'm doing a lot of that for the North American region right now. Fantastic. Now, I understand that Amazon is a very, very large company. So yes. I imagine you're dealing with a lot of applicants in the system. How many on average are you say you're moving, whether it be inbound or outbound per week? How many transactions do you think you're making when it comes to the personnel? Uh, per week, um, probably hiring anywhere from five to, to 10,000 people. Wow. Now, are you working yeah. on a team or are you helping with the onboarding of all those folks? It seems like a big workload. Uh, I, I work on a team. Yeah, there's about um, there's about 20 of us. 20 yeah. of you. OK. All right. That sounds a little bit more manageable. And I know yeah, you said that. Not you, me. <laughs> yeah. OK, good. So you said that you're using Salesforce. Do you guys use any other programs as well, too? Do you have any exposure to ADP or is everything at your office through Salesforce? Uh, everything that um, with my tasks is pretty much through Salesforce. Um, okay. I do have a little bit of experience with ADP and the, that payroll side of it. Um, okay. But most of my experiences with Salesforce and then with like Microsoft uh, Word, Office, Outlook, I would consider myself advanced in, in Excel. A lot of my job is using Excel to create um, spreadsheets and, and stuff like that, uh, like pivot tables, macros, um, programs like that with, uh, with Excel. So, yeah, definitely use that a lot as well. All right. Fantastic. So you also mentioned that you are screening these folks. What avenues are you doing that? Are you on the phone? Are you email? Are you chatting? How does that work? Social media? What does it look like? Right. Uh, so I'm not actually doing the screenings per se. I send out the communication um, gotcha. that they are going to be needing to attend there. Uh, I send out mass communication that they're going to be needing to send uh, to do their screenings. Okay. Um, but I'm not actually doing the screening per se. I use this uh, website. Uh, I use this website called Call em All, which okay. is a website that sends out mass communication to employees about uh, upcoming events. All right. Fantastic. I love it. All right. And then what were you doing before you were working at um, Amazon? Yeah, for sure. Um, I was with a, right before Amazon, I was uh, getting my education. I got my master's degree in industrial organizational psychology. Uh, that was what I did right before. That's what I was doing right before uh, Amazon. I got that, uh, that did a master's degree through Austin P State University. Um, as far as work experience uh, before um, Amazon, I was an HR um, generalist at uh, Volkswagen. Uh, as well as um, to make a little bit of money through my master's degree, I was like an office assistant with uh, this company called Regis, okay. uh, which specializes in um, office space for professionals. Very cool. It's where my office is in a Regis building here. In oh, Louisiana. awesome. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> Very cool. All right. And then I also see that you've got some experience working at Cigna Healthcare and healthcare yes. account data. Now, the reason I want to ask about that, I just kind of want to see what that looked like. Um, on typical day, because it says you were analyzing software data to evaluate their healthcare accounts. What does that mean? What does that look like? Right. Yeah. So Cigna obviously manages a lot of healthcare accounts for individuals and, and businesses. Um, so it was, a, again, a lot of the like uh, back end managing of these healthcare accounts where within our um, within our system, uh, we would get like spreadsheets of, of data about these healthcare accounts. Um, like accounts with the people and with businesses. And we had to basically go in and we were like the problem solvers. We had to go in and we had to look at these spreadsheets and identify what uh, issue uh, was was with the spreadsheet that got highlighted. And we had to solve that issue so that uh, 
so that, that healthcare account could could be fixed. Basically, is like okay. the simplified version of uh, of what I did. Fantastic. Now, I definitely am seeing a trend here in the HR industry in your background. Are you wanting to stay in HR and continue on in that growth and that pattern of that industry? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's that's what I'm going to do, like career wise. Um, obviously, I got my master's in in organizational psychology, so I'm I'm really interested in the the like um, organizational business development side of HR uh, okay. specifically. Um, that's what I want to do career wise. Uh, but right now, I'm really just looking to gain HR experience to hopefully um, get a uh, career type position in in that. Good. Good deal. And you've got some exposure to some recruitment as well. Also to see here on your resume, what type of positions were you recruiting for? Uh, which, which position? Let's see. It was at Volkswagen. Oh yes. Volkswagen recruiting. Yeah. Uh, so we um, were hiring for, there's a logistics company called Schnelke okay. Logistics that, um, that hi, that we use at Volkswagen to hire like um, forklift drivers and like material like material movers within the uh, Volkswagen plant, um, and I was doing I was working uh, side by side with with actually like hiring agencies um, to find the um, the best uh, hiring agency that was that was supplying um, employees with the uh, best turnover rate uh, okay. to stay with the uh, to stay with Volkswagen. So I was doing a lot of uh, research with uh, Schnellecke and Volkswagen to uh, determine which hiring agencies were providing the um, employees that were not only lasting the longest with the company, um, but doing the best, uh, doing the best work. Beautiful. Zach, what's the most important thing to you about this point in your career, about the next company that you work for? Uh, at this point in my career, um, I'm really looking for a company that would like to, um, like put work into me to develop me as, as an employee to hopefully, um, like I said, get towards that, uh, career path of getting to, or like organizational development type, uh, side of, of, uh, HR. Um, so I'm a very hard worker and I will put in a lot of, of hard work for the company. Uh, I'm also looking for a company to, you know, put, put back into me. Um, and that's, that's, really important to me, I think, right now at this point in my career. Very cool. What are your salary expectations? What do you need to make to consider a position? Um, after doing research on the Orlando area, um, I'm looking for somewhere between uh, 50 to 60,000 uh, a year. Okay, beautiful. Zach, I'm going to stop the recording chat with you about a couple of positions, if that sounds good to you. Sounds great.